So Laura at Little Stitcher Sews has just set up a new website. So she's based in the UK like me. And in the past, she sent me um, a couple of samples. So they're really nice. And I decided when she set up the website to apply to be one of her VIP shoppers where you get 25% off for testing the site. So I did that and this is the delivery. So I ordered quite a bit. So um, particularly I've got some waterproof canvas that I really, really love the look of. And I've also got some rifle paper co fabrics. Okay, so this is some art gallery fabric. Oh, I've been looking for this for ages. I absolutely love this print, but it's really hard to find. I could only find it at one shop and it was really expensive. So when I saw this on her site, I knew I had to grab a meter. Just look at all those colors. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love everything that Art Gallery does, let's be honest. So next up, some Rifle Paper Co. I absolutely love their designs. I haven't until recently used any of their stuff. Um, it was actually Laura, she, she sent me a little sample of some of their stuff and I loved it so much that now I've ended up buying loads more. So there's just so much color in these designs. I absolutely love them. So that one's just a cotton, but this is like a linen canvas. So you can probably tell it's a little bit thicker. That is going to make some nice bags. This is another one by Rifle Paper Co. So that again is like a linen-y canvas material. So nice. Okay, and these are the these are the threads I've been wanting to try. So I normally use Coates Moon Threads because they are so cheap and they seem to work just great with bags, but I've really been wanting to try something stronger. And this is Tex 40, which means it's suitable for a domestic sewing machine like mine. And as soon as she said she had rainbow thread, I just knew I had to have some. So hopefully you can see all the colors there. That is so gorgeous. And then got myself some turquoise and pink whilst I was at it as well. So I'm looking forward to trying those out and then just seeing whether it makes much of a difference. Um, it's a little bit thicker, so I think it might make my top stitching look a bit nicer, but it's not so thick that I can't use it in the bobbin because if you use really thick thread on a domestic machine, you can't put it in the bobbin, but this is supposed to be fine for bobbins. So I'm really looking forward to that. This gorgeous piece of fabric is from Dashwood Studio. Oh, it's just absolutely beautiful. And this one, I think, is a Tula Pink. Dashwood Studio. No, I don't think it is, actually. It reminds me of the Tula Pink ones with the lemurs and everything. This one my sister picked out when she was browsing the site, so I'm really liking that too. Here's another beauty. Look at the little birds on it and the little flowers. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'll just see who this one, this one's Dashwood Studio as well. I really like Dashwood Studio. Dashwood Studio, Rifle Paper Co, Art Gallery. There are some really good fabrics between them. You're starting to think that I've bought a lot of fabric, aren't you? And I have <laughs> a lot of these. I've just gotten half a metre. Generally for bag making, I find that half a metre is great because I'm, I'm pairing it with some cork or some vinyl or something like that. So I don't need like a full meter. I never seem to get through a full meter unless I'm using it for a lining. This is again, another gorgeous canvasy linen. And this one is a Melody Miller from Ruby Star Society. This is another one I've been admiring for a long time. So once I saw it on Laura's website, I knew I wanted it. Okay, so next is my waterproof canvas. This is what I really wanted to get. Um, I love I love the idea of waterproof canvas and it's really popular in bag making. But in the past, I've just had some cheap stuff off Amazon and it was nasty to sew with. So this is just 300, um, is it denier? Or 300 grams per square meter or something like that. Um, the standard, I think, is 600. That's what most bag makers use. And it's really thick, which is great for the exterior. But I wanted to use this for the lining. So this is 300 thick. 
and it's just lovely and strong. And I'll show you in a minute how waterproof it is. So I got just the two colors. Look at that turquoise, isn't that amazing? And I'm assuming, yeah, it's a pretty good match with my thread. So this stuff is just gonna be, it's thicker than quilting cotton and other things you might use for a lining. So I'm not gonna add any interfacing to it. I'm just gonna use it like this which I've got to admit is a huge appeal of waterproof canvas because interfacing takes forever and it adds to the cost. So this is a lot cheaper to do it this way. I also like about Laura's that it's really obvious which way is the right and the wrong side because sometimes um, in the past, I've not been able to tell with other ones. So I'll just get some water and show you about the waterproof properties of this. Okay, so my box is empty. We don't need to worry about that. I want to kind of create a pool for it so that you can see how this works. Isn't that great? So for a lining, it's really good because it's going to be stain like, you know, spill proof. So if you spill some tea or some coffee or you've got sun cream in your bag that spills over or your water bottle leaks a little bit or something like that it's not going to ruin your fabric so it's quite a nice idea for a lining so I'm really excited to use that I'll be using some of this in my next tutorial so you can see what it's like and you'll probably see me trying out the threads I'll let you guys know how I get on because that I think the thread is probably the one thing I'm most excited about um, and I know there's loads and loads of threads out there for industrials but I've been struggling to find something really nice that's a, a good weight for my domestic and works in both the top and the bobbin because I prefer to match my top and bobbin threads most of the time um, so I'll let you guys know how I get on in later posts and later videos